The Rabbit R1 is a tech product is bad at almost everything it does. In this week's video, we ask the question, has product and software innovation gone too far? Are we creating something useful or are we building ourselves into oblivion? Is it time to reframe innovation to build well-rounded, robust and finished products rather than remixing a lot of old with a little bit of new? We should be able to foresee the impacts of new developments. Instead of progress for progress's sake and beyond financial forecasts, R&D and innovation should enlighten the world with the potential impacts on people, industries and their environment. Has the startup culture made us lose sight of the drive to actually succeed? Recent technological launches have highlighted this issue. Take the Rabbit R1. The Rabbit R1 is a tech product promised the world delivered on almost none of it. Or the humane pin. This thing is bad at almost everything it does basically all the time. Or even the latest AAA game like Call of Duty. There's a lot to talk about. I'm gonna be honest with you. Most of the stuff in this update's pretty broken. These are examples of the growing gap between finished and unfinished products that customers still pay for while they're being built. Jurassic Park's famous line Life uh, finds a way. highlights the unforeseen impacts of rapid changes. While not all social media is bad, they have led to significant significant disenfranchisement and mental health issues worldwide. For example, a tribe in the Amazon rainforest recently got Starlink and elders already report changes in the youngest members, many already addicted to porn online. There's a pattern of overpromising and under-delivering, eventually meeting the original promises just as the next product is about to launch. And if these products and services and subscriptions fail to gain popularity, they get cancelled. Speaking of subscribing, how about supporting us by subscribing to our channel? It helps us get our videos to other viewers and helps us grow. The pace of development is so fast that we almost forget what's disappeared, like Flash-based games and apps. To move forward, we need to build within existing structures. In the UK, we electrified railways add into infrastructure rather than starting anew. And do all innovations need to be motivated by profit? Consider how Volvo's three-point seatbelt was given away for free and not patented. Think of how much waste will be saved by the introduction of USB-C cable phones. Think Google Stadia. Google Stadia is dying and handing out refunds at its funeral. And the Spotify car thing. Yeah, Spotify bricking its thing will be discontinued. It will be rendered completely inoperable. Both no longer exist. And while they refunded customers, there's no guarantee that services will stay. This brings us to the question, is it time to change the approach? Another critical aspect is infrastructure. A decade ago, a museum for computer video games opened preserving the cultural wealth of old games. This is vital as rapid development often makes old innovations obsolete. The fix isn't easy and it's unlikely we'll move away from the idea of fail fast anytime soon, but there are glimpses of hope. This foresight isn't just about business development, but also about making our living, working and playing environments better. There are companies like SoftBank, which claims to have a 300 year vision. This long-term thinking is crucial for sustainable innovation. One promise missing idea is foresight. I was reading the Manual of Design Fiction, which talked about a CEO who excelled at building products through an agile approach. However, while he was great at sprinting, he couldn't run a marathon. He lacked the time to look to the future, to have foresight beyond the next 12 months, and think about the next 5, 10, or 20 years. Thanks for watching today. Drop us a like and a comment, and do consider subscribing. We post videos almost every week about design, design thinking, brand, and digital. Until the next time, stay curious and see you in the next one.